Ansar Allah fighters' attacks on military and merchant ships continued unabated in the Red Sea region. The Yemenis struck the tankers, Delta Atlantica, and on Phoenix with unmanned boats. The vessels sustained minor damage. U.S. naval forces also intercepted several Houthi munitions in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. During the week, coalition forces shot down three ballistic missiles and two kamikaze drones and destroyed three unmanned boats. In response to the Houthi attacks, the U.S. Air Force launched strikes on Kamaran Island, west of mainland Yemen. At least one radar station was hit as a result of the coalition airstrike. Pro-Iranian militias were also active, periodically shelling U.S. positions. In eastern Syria, a missile strike hit a U.S. Army base at Conoco Field, but with no effects on the ground. A kamikaze drone strike on the U.S. Harab Al Jair Air Base in Al Hasaka Province was more successful. The attack destroyed warehouses. No casualties were reported. To the east of the Euphrates, fighting continued between pro-government tribal forces and Kurdish detachments. At the same time, artillery of the Syrian armed forces fired at the positions of the Syrian Democratic Forces. An attack by pro-Kurdish militias on the positions of the Syrian troops was among the relatively high-profile events. Both sides suffered casualties during clashes in the village of Al-Bulil, controlled by the Syrian Arab Army, 4th Armored Division. In response to Syrian attacks, a U.S. drone struck a bus near the town of Al-Bukamal. Eight fighters from Iranian-backed pro-government forces were killed. On the greater Idlib fronts, the Syrian armed forces continued to attack militant targets using FPV drones. The government forces targeted the facilities of the Hayat Tahrir al-Sham terrorist organization. In Iraq's Al-Anbar province, militants of the Islamic State terrorist organization struck positions of pro-Iranian forces. Grenades were dropped from UAVs on one of the al hasht al-Shabi militia's facilities, but there were no casualties. The Turkish army's air and ground operation against the Kurdistan Workers' Party continued in northern Iraq. Up to 12 Kurdish militias were eliminated in a series of Turkish Air Force airstrikes on the mountainous Matina, 